Hey guys! It occurs to me last time that we didn't actually come back and look at the uh, Crystal Onyx that we caught. So I want to show that off because it's pretty cool and I would love to explain... Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so look at this thing. So water... So Crystal Onyx is... Or Hoenian Onyx, rather. It, 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 I want to look at its moves. So Hoenian Onyx is immune to water. Water heals it like water absorb, so it doesn't have a water weakness despite being an ice rock type. And fire, which it also doesn't have a weakness to because of rock, one of the only benefits of being ice rock, uh, fire causes its att special attack to go up a whole lot. Also, this is a special attacking Onyx, which is why it has Aurora Beam, Ancient Power, and look at this move! Look at this! <laughs> It's a rock type move that may freeze and is 110 power and has more accuracy than Stone Edge, which is not hard to do, but still. Like, look at that. And it has an evolution, but it's not Steelix. Um, we're going to hold on to that for right now, though, because there's actually somebody that wants to see one. Not, not the evolved form, just that one. So I'm going to think about the team. So I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like the look of this team. Like, I, I think there's a lot of variety here. Obviously, we have two steel types, but I kind of think, like, uh, hear me out. I think that Fairy Steel is such a special and powerful type that I want to keep it around. And Histup is my favorite team member, and Histup will specifically counter a few things we have going into the end game. And is just also really strong. But as it stands, we have many physical attackers, one special attacker, one mixed attacker, and I want to probably have this one go to a special attacker, but I haven't yet worked it out, but I might not. I just don't want the, the group to be too physical heavy. Because it's honestly either Mamba or Candy. Or, uh, Kidmo would be pretty cool. I could put... Let's see, I could swap out one of the steel types if people... So let me know. I, basically, my thought is, I think I want to keep the team... I think I want to keep Clomp and Dragapult and Histup and Glaceon. The ones that I'm, like, able to switch, like, if you guys don't feel that way about a Steel Fairy type, that's fine. But we haven't really seen Bisharp go ham yet. He's got a good moveset, just got unlucky with Paralysis and Fire Blast. And Ninji's fine. I think Ninji's kind of fallen off because Ninji has lower stats than some of these other Pokemon because of its really early evolution level. I just kind of want to know what you guys think about which two Pokemon you would want to see in the final team, whether it be Candy, Flurry, I know that would be a Dragon overlap, if not the uh, Fairy overlap. I, I put the Crystal Onyx on here if people really want to see that. It's a little bit busted, and we also have an Ice type, but there's also Saberman. If you guys are Saberman stands, we could do that. Um, I'm really open to anything. I'm just trying to make the team feel somewhat balanced in what we have, while still overlapping one or two types. And I'm currently happy with what we have, so I wanna wanna just mull that around. Actually, let me let me swap Ninji out for Kid Mo for a little bit because I kind of miss Kid Mo because I think I think Fighting Dark is a really cool type. I really like Scraggy and Scrafty a lot, um, so I kind of want to run with that, despite the additional fire weakness that he has. He are not unweak to fire on this team. One, two, three. <laughs> but that's okay, because we have a water type that I can actually use. Anyway, so this is what we're going to be running with for now, and most of these Pokemon will be staying through to the end, unless you guys have a real preference for who's in the uh, Elite Four team. I want to make sure that people get their voice in for that one on who their favorites are. Like, even if you think it's fine that... Uh, I use my team, I just kind of want to know what you guys' favorites are, so just comment and let me know, because I am curious what people think of all these new Pokemon. 
uh, and who you want to see going in toward, towards the end of the game, because we are approaching the home stretch now. But as I continue to talk, we're now at the space station, and Team Magma's here. Shocker. So let's see what they got. The rocket fuel the Space Center has in storage. That's what we're after. We're after the rocket fuel. We're gonna drink every last bit of it. All right, guy. Is Kidbo actually first, or did it move for Alligator up to first? That would actually be fine if it did. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ursa Ring. I have a water type now. Ow, don't slash me, dog. Yeah, he's no match for liquidation. Like, if he survived, I would be shocked. Shocked! I really want to see Hoenny and Ursa Luna now. It's going to be kind of rad. And is it going to be fire ground or fire normal? I don't know. Oh, fire ground. It's, it's bad in that it's four times a week to water, which is a common type. But it's also good in that it's really cool. No one, but no one, gets past me. I got some, like, Tex Avery energy from that. No one, but no one. Okay, what a fampy. I, I don't know how I'll ever get past your fampy, my dude. Just gonna bite it. Would have been nice if they made for alligator a water dark type in this version. It would have made my decision a lot easier. But no, no changes. Hashtag no changes. For you uh, classic players out there. Look, everybody's gaining XP again. And I'm, I'm gonna keep that on Glaceon, because I, I feel like Glaceon deserves to gain something. Uh, let's Dragon Dance it. I'm already faster, but I could use that attack back. Thank you very much. And if I can survive, there's another... Oh, just in time. So I lose nothing for this exchange. Nothing. Well, too bad. <laughs> snatch is bad. Don't use Snatch. <laughs> If I had used Dragon Dance, that would have been bad, but it wasn't. Because <laughs> he wasted a move. Also, is it me, or does Feraligator, Feraligator's back sprite look dummy thick? Like, I assume those are scales, but it also kind of looks like mega cheeks. <laughs> uh. But, you know, out of all the evolutions, Glaceon was not the one I was initially expecting to make. Um, but... There's got to be somebody on this dev team that really likes Glaceon, because in addition to the changes and the unique move that they made to Glaceon, which was more changes than they made to any of the other evolutions, Glaceon ends up with the highest stat total of any of them, too. Uh, including the new EV that they made, which I can't show you until late, late game. Uh, like, post-game, late game. And, I mean, I will be showing that, but I... It's gonna be a while. And the reason that one's stats are lower is because of a unique move that that one has, and it would be utterly, like, absolutely the best Pokémon in this game if it didn't have less stats than the other evolutions. And that will be obvious why! So, I'm just gonna bite this thing. Ugh, they can't ever make it easy. They can't ever make it easy, can they? Okay, so down here, we're just, you know, moseying on past all these people. And it's look like it's Steven. Y'all see this Steven here? Yeah. Team Magma, what's the point of stealing rocket fuel? Ooh, since you're so curious, you deserve an explanation. How curious? We're going to jettison the entire load into Mount Chimney. With Groudon gone, we have no need for that slag heap of a mountain. So we'll use the fuel of the Earth's power to make the volcano erupt. It will be savage. I don't remember that being their plan, but holy shit, Team Magma, calm the fuck down. Alright, so we're going to enter with... I'm gonna enter with these three. They're the the most. I know Kidmo is not not good with the uh, with the fire, but any mighty Innas are about to get bramble bashed. Metagross, Skarmory, and Agron. Holy crap, Steven! Why are your Pokemon so powerful? <laughs> it's Pokemon are in the 60s. Like, calm down. This is hard mode. Ursa Ring and Dawn Fan. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. Oh, that's where Courtney was. I wondered why we didn't see Courtney in um. That place where she was. Okay, Dragon Dance, Meteor Mash. I mean, I guess. Oh, I thought Ground Resisted Steel. Oh my god. I mean, it's not even fair. I, I don't think they're. I think they would have been this high level. Like, maybe we would have been these levels. I mean, what am I kidding? We would have been like 90 by now. But 
Ha! It's too late! I'm about to dragon dance! Then I'll be faster than all of y'all! Oh, and that doesn't even help. That, wow, that, that's insane. Like, that's, that's, that's too much, man. That's too much, man. I mean, all he needs to do is Earthquake. You can take Clomp with you, it'll just finish them. It's fine. I'm ready. I'm ready, Steven. Do it. Alright. So Clomp's faster now. But, I, I don't know what, if I hadn't turned on hard mode, I don't know what level we'd be. The flow, the flow of this is so much better, and it's kind of weird seeing Steven have Pokemon that much higher. Normally his Pokemon are like in the mid-40s here. To match the same levels as Maxi and stuff, but... 65 is a little much. Like, come on. It's probably gonna kill a Typhlosion, too. Close. Like, imagine. Why would you not Flare Blitz the, the Metagross that's weak to... Ugh. I don't know. Okay. We're just... We're just gonna... Oh. Okay. Of course. I don't know what I was thinking. Why even bother Dragon Dancing? I, I just don't know. Uh, okay. None of those... None of those make me feel very warm and fuzzy with, uh, with Kid Mo. So we're gonna use Dragapult. Oh, ow. Critical hit. Oh, no. Dra defense drop. Oh, no. Okay, well, he's, he's going down now. Typhlosion is going down. Steven's kind of carrying this match, but it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. Fortunately, only my three Pokemon gained stuff in this one. Oh, that would have been nice. Would have been nice to have uh, liquidation for that, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, just Dragon Pulse it. I think I can deal with the camera up on Kidmo. Please hit Arcanine. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. That is some teamwork. And it was 52. All right. I do wonder. Or is it 65? I hope it's not. That's a little high, don't you think? Maybe I should have hit camera up because Metagross is going to get crunched by this. Well, I say that. Oh, wow. That. Oh, I get. Dragapult does four times resist fire. So. Whoa! It was a critical hit and it still didn't take him down. Okay. That's fine. Dragon Pulse. Uh. We'll just. We'll just do this. Oh, he's got. Oh, that's right! There isn't a non Hoed Skarmory, so he's got a fire type of his own! Oh, wow. That was smart. Oh, that's less smart, because that's going to kill us both. Oh, wow. Okay. Skarmory is four times weak to that, so that might not be good. Oh, wow, he lived. And I guess he's got good defense. Uh, Gitmo, okay. As long as they don't seem to understand... We're just gonna Bramble Bash the car, uh, Skarmory. I don't think Flash Fire raises attack, it's just... Oh, alright. Uh, Bramble Bash is the wrong move to use against Charizard, though. But I'm glad he got rid of that thing. Oh, crap. That's gonna hurt. Oh, wow, I'm dead. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back. I uh, got a Dragon Dance boost. We've been just kind of mowing through these guys. There, that time we took care of that. No, none of that. Shame on you. Everybody's getting 52. Oh, Thunder Punch. Wait, what? He didn't use Thunder Punch on me? Why? <laughs> I think Courtney's actually out of Pokemon. Wow, she is. <laughs> Alright. And then we're just gonna liquidation the camera up. Okay, so the order to do it in is Dragon Dance and then hit the Arcanine before it can do anything. It still dies to liquidation in one hit, even without plus one uh, special attack, or plus one physical attack. So it's like, okay. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was incredible! Okay, Metagross. 
can't believe I lost the first round. Ugh. Dragon Bolt 53. Well, I did talk about my fire weakness right before running into basically a fire gym challenge. 120 submission, hello? Okay, I, I like Bramble Bash, but I think submission is just better now. 120 power is not what submission used to be. I think it was 100 at best. Uh, I'll take that. All he's got to watch out for really is fairy types and fire types. All I want to expand the landmass by blowing up a volcano near a bunch of people's houses. You're just eco-terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it might. It may. All right, we give up on the fuel. Appear to be more important than the matters I must examine. Whew, too tense. I have something to give you as thanks for your support. Come see me at my home. Oh, I don't live in Rustboro. I live here. Let's say, would Team Magma steal the rocket fuel in the first place? Because they were going to blow up a fucking volcano. So... Okay, now that we've done that, we can go back and heal, and then we can go see Steven at his house. But then, there's something new we can do. Also, it just occurred to me that even if I swap in Ninji for uh, Kidmo, it's uh, not actually gonna help my fire weakness problem. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe... Okay. You guys tell me if you'd rather I use one of the dark types, like if any of them are your favorites. Uh, just just let me know, because I am curious which ones you guys like the most. But I'm going to take Kidmo off and get Candy, because I think that will round our team out the best. And I'm also kind of partial to Candy, because he's, you know, the shiny that we caught. Still haven't used our Luster Ball. That's on the menu. I just got to be careful. Um... I don't think it has a 100% catch rate, but it might. Actually, yeah, I think it does. Anyway, hi, Steven. HPP, as you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. Thanks for all you've done. This is my token of appreciation. It's a hidden machine dive. And we get dive, which we can teach temporarily to... Um... I may actually grab Tentacruel and teach Tentacruel that, so that Tentacruel can be our dive and surf slave. I really didn't like... Like, I'm, I'm sure this is not an uncommon opinion, but I really didn't like having, like, Dive and Surf and Waterfall in the same game, and having to have a Pokemon that you teach that to. But, if we go back over here, this guy said to come talk to him once all that business was worked out. You're the traitor that saved the Space Center from those dastardly Magma Goons, right? The Goons! If you find yourself heading south, would you mind doing a little investigating for me? I believe I've isolated a frequency somewhere around Route 129 that is imperative to my research. If you discover anything, let me know at once. Okay. Route 129. And reading called by May. Just in Pacific Log. Giant green Pokemon flying high in the sky. I don't know what that could be. Maybe it's important. Maybe it's on the start screen. But this is what we've got. And I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, less fire weakness that way. <laughs> Instead of four fire weakness, it's three. Now let's get our uh, repels on and get going. Because we have dive now. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I want to... put clomp back and get clomp in a bit. I just want to... since I'm going to need to use dive, I want to... just move blooper into the party. Man, I guess Blooper was there for, like, the whole, uh, weather station? No, it wasn't that. It was, what was it? Oh, no, it was that, because that was our first Surf Mon. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and teach Blooper Dive so that we can go ahead and get any Dive things out of the way, because Dive is, well, Dive is Dive. Nobody else can learn it. To everyone's surprise, I'm sure... Uh, dive is technically stronger than Liquidation, but I would not recommend using Dive instead of Liquidation. <laughs> the only one I ever, like, thought was passable was Fly. What's our time looking like? Um, ah, uh, let's, ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna, now that I've got all that set up, 
Uh, you guys think on what I was talking about, about the last two team members, and if you guys even like, like Bisharp and Glaceon being on here. And I will, because there's just so many Pokemon to use, I want to know what the uh, real favorites are. I'm just curious. And in the next part, we will go south and work our way towards the next town. And we'll see you guys then.